Hi, um, welcome to this uh, virtual session. And I'm also glad to attend this amazing ApacheCon Asia. And this talk will be presented by uh, Luca, who is from Wikimedia in the eye. And uh, let me introduce myself first. And my name is Yuchigo. I'm working on ARM and um, the committer and uh, uh, PS member of the Apache Big Talk. And then you are, I'm focused on uh, enable and optimize the data science stacks for ARM64. In this session, uh, firstly, I, I'd like to provide the overview of the Apache Big Talk. And then I would like to, uh, in, I would like to introduce the new features of this uh, new release. And uh, I would like also to introduce some uh, the recent uh, upgrade and some basic uh, usages uh, from the user point of the view. And then Luca will give a brief introduction of the work done with the, our uh, upstream uh, to support the Wikimedia use case uh, for the top. BigTop is an uh, Apache project for infrastructure engineers and data scientists who are looking for packaging, testing, and uh, configuration of the, you know, uh, the open source big data components. And BigTop uh, packages the Hadoop system to RPM and, uh, and the Debian artifacts. And uh, it, uh, our BigTop supports uh, more than 25, you know, Hadoop existing components. And uh, maybe you were asked, uh, what do people use uh, Big Top for? And uh, you can download uh, Big Top to uh, build the Hadoop related project uh, from the website. Um, so you can have uh, running uh, distributed uh, Hadoop clusters uh, to test your code. Uh, you can also run the uh, big top spot test to, to, uh, to test, uh, ensure that your cluster is working. Okay. And uh, it's the big top of, uh, future snapshot. It includes uh, packaging, uh, virtualization, deployment, and uh, testing uh, for packaging. Uh, big top packages uh, Hadoop to IPM and uh, Debian's so that you can manage, maintain, and deploy your Hadoop cluster uh, for virtualization. Um, BigTop uh, provides vagrant recipes, recipes, uh, raw images, and uh, Docker recipes, uh, recipes uh, for deploy, deploy Hadoop from ground up. Okay, uh, the user can create a local cluster uh, on uh, virtual machines or containers uh, by using the top. And for uh, uh, deployment, so the top supports automatic uh, deploying uh, components use, using uh, puppet, uh, puppet manifests, which is also uh, provided by our big top. And last but not least important is the testing is important, okay. Uh, Big Top provides the, the integrated the smoke testing uh, framework allows, alongside a suit of over uh, 50 test, test files uh, for users. And now um, we also officially support x86 and uh, ARM64. Okay, this is our um, big top release status. Okay, uh, we start to add ARM64 support to big top since 2018. And ARM was officially added to big top support matrix uh, with 1.3 release. Uh, it made ARM officially the first class citizen. Uh, with four ARM support uh, from this most uh, advanced big data stack to date. For uh, this new release, um, we implement some new features uh, like uh, defining a, a big top impact, 
and uh, adding a ELK to BigTop and upgrade and upgrade some core component core components, and it also helps to support effective you know, use of the Hadoop system um, ARM cluster. Okay, the next, uh, let me uh, give a brief introduction uh, to the new features in this uh, new release. In this new release, we defined a new memory impact. Okay, before I introduce this impact, um, let's have a quick overview of what is the memory. Memory is the project that uh, targets to make management of the Hadoop easier and simpler for the uh, developers and uh, administrators. Amare, you know, uh, simplified the installation, configuration, and, uh, and manage uh, the clusters. And uh, Amare also re reduced uh, complexity to uh, administer and and the, the configured cluster across the entire platform. Okay, it helps um, automate automated the setup and the, the configuration of the advanced cluster security and capabilities. Um, before introducing the impact, uh, we should also know some concepts uh, like what is the embarrass stack. Embarrass stack defines a set of services and the repos where to obtain the software package from those services. The services are some components like HDFS, Zookeeper, Spark, and etc. Okay. And another concept is the extension. Mari includes some extensions that define a set of custom services which can be added to a stack version. Okay, stack uh, also uh, defines some command scripts uh, for service for service starting, stopping, installation, and the configuration. But Mari um, stack have some you know the limitations if we want to upgrade the stack definition uh, we are enforced to uh, release the whole environment you know? release a whole environment is not convenient it's uh, it requires required more efforts but there's no release vehicle and that can be used to ship um, add-on services so it's not you know, convenient for users to uh, get a separate, separate, separate uh, stack version release. Uh, so um, uh, the management packs also named MPAC address, address these issues by uh, the coupling stacks from our recall, okay? And to improve the release manage, management to allow a stack definition to be uh, deployed time an artifact and not uh, compiled time. Okay, it supports add-on services and it's convenient for uh, users to select different kinds of unpack uh, in their cluster. And uh, uh, in this uh, new release, the top new release. We implemented the new uh, BigTop packs. You know, it's convenient for users to select different kinds of um, MPAC in their cluster, which also includes different uh, software services. In these cases, uh, our BigTop MPAC includes some um, fundamental components like. HDFS, we are MapReduce, Zookeeper. And in the future, of course, we will add more services on it. Uh, maybe like okay, the high base. Yeah. And uh, in this slides, uh, it shows the uh, 
interaction between uh, Ambari web view and Ambari server call and um, impact you know the manager gets the command uh, from uh, UI and uh, selects uh, unpack then it triggers the stack manager to pick up the uh, specific, specific stack rated and deploy or manage the services on you know the Ambari engines and by review uh, will get the services life cycle information uh, from the stack manager then and uh, the service the services uh, come from unpack repo which is defined in the stack okay we adopt uh, the big top new release uh, as this uh, the stack new repo um, this is the uh, use case of the our big top unpack to deploy the big data software stack or via Mbari. and Mbari can manage the complex and the large distributed distributed systems of the Hadoop and by simply accessing the web UI uh, with you know a click of button and the user can easily access this UI to deploy the Hadoop related projects. Okay, and Mari, and like this picture shows, and Mari integrates, uh, interact with Mari server by REST API and Mari server orchestrated the services on the Mari engine. And these services come from software stake, which defines the in uh, our top MPAC. Okay, it's uh, uh, the typical and MPAC use case. Okay, the next is uh, the other some uh, new features. Uh, we also add some uh, new distro support uh, to pick up like Dipping Town and Ubuntu 20 and the Fedora 30 and uh, CentOS 8. And uh, all components are successfully deployed on those distros for both uh, ARM64 and x86 and uh, we also add uh, elastic search log stash and kibana also named the erp stack uh, to our uh, big top and uh, uh, some core cool components uh, uh, also upgrade to this uh, new release like like hadoop spark h wave hi kafka yeah, um, there are uh, over uh, 90 bug, bug fix and uh, also 24 improvements in this new release. Um, if you want to know more details, uh, please visit this link uh, to know more about this new release and uh, our big top. And okay, uh, that's all for my part about uh, what is the big top and uh, what is the uh, big top impact and some of its uh, new features of this new release. And the next, uh, let's welcome Luca, who is from Wikimedia, to share his work to share his work with us. Thank you. Thanks, Yuki, and hi, everybody. My name is Luca, and I'm necessary at the Wikimedia Foundation. And today I'm here to give you a little overview about why we chose Apache Big Top and why we think it is a great project to work with. Um, before starting, a little introduction about the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, it is a, a non-profit US-based foundation uh, supporting the broader Wikimedia movement, um, whose aim is basically to provide uh, free educational content to everybody. Um, the Wikimedia movement is um, behind the Wikimedia movement. There are people all over the world, uh, volunteers and non-volunteers, um, that um, that basically um, maintain uh, and curate um, wiki-based projects, and the most famous one being uh, Wikipedia. Um, 
I'm not sure if you, I just put in here some examples of the wiki-based uh, projects that we manage. Um, if you don't know them, I encourage you to, to follow up because they are really great. Um, and as you, as you probably know, we don't run any advertisement on these projects, so uh, we rely entirely on donations throughout the year uh, from donors from like small donations to big donations uh, scattered all around the globe. Uh, and this is what supports financially uh, the, the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, the, the, the role of the foundation is basically not to add any content to these projects, but just to provide the, um, um, the software layer and so the platform and also the, um, the hardware layer to run all these uh, wiki projects. Uh, the, the, the final goal is to let uh, users to browse um, these, these wiki projects um, as fast as possible um, with the best latency uh, possible depending on where uh, they are all around the globe uh, and also to support people uploading content that we uh, call them editors uh, to basically concentrate on um, on, only, it's uh, I'm saying only, but it's a big. Uh, it is of course a, a huge job, but um, just to try to concentrate only on uploading content and curate wiki pages rather than also worrying about the infrastructure in which the project runs on. Um, the, for example, Wikipedia being the most famous one is uh, on the. Um, um, top 10 list of the Alexa um, top 100 websites, uh, visited websites of the world uh, and uh, doing analytics and try to measure um, vital signs from users and editors uh, across projects is very challenging due to the huge um, data size um, that we collect related to the traffic coming in day by day. Uh, in order to do this, um, the Wikimedia Foundation has a, a dedicated team called Data Engineering and um, its mission is, as written in the slide, empower and support data-informed decision-making across the foundation and the community. This means that uh, the team supports both uh, volunteers from outside the foundation, trying for example to measure uh, how editors are doing uh, uh, in a specific wiki project and also users within the foundation that are trying to measure vital signs uh, of specific or um, or specific uh, um, answer specific questions related to uh, some new feature some uh, long-term trend etc uh, etc et so basically doing uh, analytics, uh, standard analytics plus um, answering uh, bigger questions, multi big questions related to uh, our, our overall traffic. What we strive for is trying to do this, um, collecting um, as few data as possible about our user, trying to keep private, very privacy sensitive data uh, for the lowest uh, amount of time possible and also trying to not track users uh, in, um, while they are browsing or uploading content to wikis. Uh, this is at the root of the, the core values of the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, it would deserve an entire talk, but if you are interested, uh, please follow up on the links that I put in this slide. Um, uh, there are a lot of information if you want to follow up. Speaking about the infrastructure, this is of course a high-level uh, overview, um, but I'm I try to depict in this, into this slide from left to right more or less uh, how the, um, the data engineering infrastructure um, is, um, um, is structured. Uh, so basically, we, we're, we said that we all the data um, there is a large volume of HTTP, mostly HTTP requests that are hitting 
um, all our wiki projects and uh, from from there from our caching layer basically we we use a tool called uh, a tool called the varnish kafka that basically sends all of the HTTP requests to inject to send them to Kafka to specific Kafka topics, and then we use Goblin Apache Goblin to pull data from Kafka and then store it on um, Hadoop uh, HDFS. We we have um, on the top some scheduling tools for the current jobs. We are in the process of migrating away from Uzi and adopting Airflow as much as possible. Um, on the bottom you see Hive and Spark that are our uh, basically most famous tools to explore data and query data. Um, and, um, and, yeah, and also we have on the right hand side Presto, Cassandra and Druid, we call them the serving layer. Uh, so what happens is all the data that is ingested via, via Goblin into Hadoop gets refined, we call it like a refinement process. So um, the arrived data sets are created related to various aspects of uh, the data ingested and they are made available uh, within Hadoop and also part of these data sets go to um, this specific serving layer in order to uh, users to be able to, uh, to consume the data more easily. Uh, to visualize data, we have some very uh, famous tools like Apache Superset, Cloudera Hue, and also Allegro Tornillo for data exploration. Most of the infrastructure is around 130 bare metal hosts, so we don't use any cloud provider uh, or anything similar. Uh, we run the, the Debian uh, operating system and uh, it is mostly x86 Intel based uh, hardware, so nothing, uh, um, nothing more than that. As you can see, Hadoop is at the very center of the infrastructure. It is very important for us, and uh, um, if it doesn't work, it, it is really a problem. So the choice of the Hadoop distribution was really critical for us. Um, until some months ago, we, we were running the Cloudera CDH5 uh, uh, distribution, the Community Edition. We have been running it for years, and uh, it was really great and we really um, we have really appreciated the um, the work that Cloudera did with uh, with the distribution throughout the years as you can see from the list um, we were lagging a lot behind the uh, upstream so latest Hadoop upstream uh, um, releases so we started to look for upgrading the Hadoop distribution to something more recent. And of course, the first um, thought was to try to upgrade to Cloudera uh, CDH6, so the, the next version of the, um, the distribution that we had at the time. There were some, um, some new things that the distribution um, announced that was like we are basically um, against our goals uh, for example no support for the Debian OS uh, and uh, and also the introduction of a paywall for the um, for the software consumption so getting uh, Debian packages and something similar um, has been put behind a, a paywall um, this is of course something completely legitimate I just want to make uh, clear that I'm not advocating against, against Cloudera or in favor of Cloudera. Um, this talk is about like technical decisions about our use case. Cloudera is a big open source contributor, so I don't want uh, to pass the wrong message. Uh, one big thing that also was not uh, in line with our way of thinking is um, the, the way in which we were uh, participating to uh, upstream uh, um, releases. So we were consuming only Debian packages provided by Cloudera, but we have been struggling throughout the years to 
provide patches, contribute uh, back, or also like try to influence upstream about uh, direction for the distribution and also new things to add, etc. etc. This is why we started to look for an alternative, and uh, um, at some point we, we ended up reviewing Apache Bigtop. And uh, we basically, after a little while, we decided it was really worth to, uh, to migrate to it for a lot of reasons. And uh, the, the big ones are, uh, are the ones that I'm going to present to you right now. Um, so this slide, uh, in this slide, I'm, I try to represent uh, into with the picture um, one of the the, the most surprising uh, and appreciated uh, features of BigTop. So the fact that, of course, um, the upstream um, developers spend a lot of time in testing, building, and uh, um, validating. Uh, software uh, shipped into various um, packaging, Debian packaging, um, and also RPMs, all like, th they're basically testing combinations of um, various distribution and hardware uh, to, get, to get to the most reliable and, um, and, uh, um, and good set of packages for the uh, a wide variety of use uh, use cases. Uh, in our case, for example, it's the uh, what we care about are Debian packages, but at the same time, what we we need sometimes is to apply patches and to have our own custom version of um, uh, of the software. For example, uh, a use case that ca comes to mind is uh, we had to uh, try a specific patch to the Hive server. Um, a couple of months ago and uh, what, what we had to do was um, pull a docker image related to uh, containing all the tools that the big top uh, infrastructure uses to build packages uh, apply the patch into a, uh, the, uh, the upstream patch uh, that we wanted to test in a specific directory um, kick off a build and the new package was uh, was ready in a matter of minutes. Uh, this is really, really great. Uh, for example, if an immediate security problem arises and uh, you want to patch packages or if you want to uh, simply have your own version for specific reasons. Uh, it is also good to, in my opinion, to contribute back. So if you test something, it works. And it is also good to contribute back, but it is not really mandatory. It is a good thing to do, but one could choose to um, to do it or not. I just wanted to say that the process was, is really streamlined, so having custom versions of packages um, in a matter of minutes was critical for us. Um, the other big thing is the mantra community over code that the Apache Foundation as a whole is following. And uh, in short, it means that it, it, you, you cannot have good code um, at the expense of a, a healthy community. Healthy community meaning um, that there is, like people can participate, is, can participate, discuss and influence the direction of the project um, freely without any uh, any problem whatsoever um, in uh, very easily and so as you can see from the top there are in the big top use cases there are a lot of mailing lists that one can sub subscribe to and basically get a glimpse of what the upstream developers are working on what are the the questions that have been uh, that people ask and what are the common problems and also, um, there is a, um, a specific JIRA dedicated page uh, to get the list of open issues and, um, and see what is the status of the project at the moment, what are the problems being worked on, and uh, possibly a quick way to contribute back if you have a patch or a suggestion or a, um, 
um, a, a good follow-up to a specific problem because for example you had it uh, you had resolved it in um, at work for some reason um, I did that for like in, in some cases and it was really really great and uh, the development community was really welcoming and uh, especially in the beginning when uh, I started asking very basic questions that probably somebody familiar with Big Talk was uh, familiar with but I wasn't so uh, it was really great to see uh, to basically get the, the basics uh, of the project and start working on it and possibly doing some small contribution in a matter of days rather than uh, following a complicated project uh, a complicated path um, this is uh, for example one of the things that I love the most every time there is so at the moment um, the last upstream is Big Top 1.5 that contains Hadoop uh, 2.10 so still not uh, the, the last version of Hadoop is not Hadoop 3 um, that is the last upstream for the Apache Hadoop project. So there is um, the, the the big talk. There is also like a, a specific talk uh, about uh, migrating to uh, Hadoop three and also to the the new big top three distribution. Um, so if you are curious, I will uh, point you to that. But what I want to say is that. There is a Jira currently open, uh, and this is the link in which um, there is a list of packages that are going to be supported, what is their, their current version, what the new version will be, and the, the, it is an open discussion about with the, communi with the community about what should be kept, what shouldn't, and, uh, uh, and what platforms are supported, what are what are the main difficulties, etc, etc. So it is easy to basically read what is the status, uh, add feedback and contribute back. Uh, so you, you're you not consuming something that upstream decides, but if you want, you can be part of the decision process. And this is, I think, really, really great. Um, I put on the left the list of new packages, high 3, Hadoop 3, so this is really the latest of the basically almost um, close to all the latest upstream for all the projects. That's really great. So uh, a good benefit of Big Top is keeping track that there is a fast path towards um, the the latest upstream of all the projects that are contained. Hadoop, Hive, etc., etc. And yeah, and for us it was critical also to have a path to Hadoop three. So we want to get to Hadoop 3 and to upgrade as soon as possible and Big Top uh, provided, it, uh, provided a clear path to it since uh, we started looking into it. Uh, we were able to upgrade um, from Cloudera to, uh, to Big Top and there is a blog post, I just put the link into the slide if you are curious. Uh, it contains all the details, the gotchas, lesson learned, lessons learned and uh, I would really love to get your feedback about your own experience and uh, um, and also your own questions, doubts or suggestions um, if, if you have some. So uh, if you already went through a similar path, please, um, I left some feedback contacts. Um, so there is like the Wikimedia Analytics uh, uh, public list, a user uh, big top mailing list and also my mailing my, my personal email address if you want to reach out directly to me um, I wish I had the time to explain uh, everything from the blog post in here, but of course uh, time is running out. Uh, thank you very much for the attention and um, Bye-bye